everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video, we're going to take a freely available syslog server, install it on Windows XP, and then get two Cisco routers to talk to the syslog server. So we're going to send in commands, uh, log commands that users might type in, and other information like interfaces going down and stuff like that. So it's going to be in three parts. We're going to have one part, we're going to go into a virtual machine of Windows XP, going to install syslog and go through the different steps for that. It's actually pretty easy. Then we're going to go into GNS3, set up our two routers and the routing protocols just so everything has connectivity. And then finally, we need to do the commands that will actually log our commands and shoot it over to the syslog. So let's start with the Windows XP part. I'm going to pull in my virtual machine. It's already set up. I'm going to double click to maximize it. Uh, first thing I should probably do is set up my IP address. So that's uh, double click my network places, view network connections, double click on local area network, and then go to properties, and then internet protocol. I'm going to set an IP address of, let's see what we got here. It's already set with all ones. I'm going to make it, uh, let's do all nines. Make it a slash 24, and then we'll do 999 one for our, our gateway which is going to be our next hop router. I'm going to click OK there and just wait for that to stick a bit. Alright so I've already downloaded the Kiwi Syslog server. This is the free version offered by SolarWinds so just Google search for SolarWinds, go to that website, download it. It runs on any basically any Windows machine after you have it on your desktop or wherever, just double click on it. And click I agree. And what you probably want to do is install the syslog server as a service. That way you don't have to mess with it too much. Click next. Local system account sounds good to me. Click next. Web access, that's fine. Just basically keep cl clicking next. Okay, so after that, what you do is finish. It goes through a couple other steps. And then this is our web access server. Actually, we're going to cancel that. Okay, so after all of that, it's going to put an icon in the somewhere on your screen saying Kiwi Syslog Server Console. Double click on that, and it will show you this menu right here. Not too exciting because we actually don't have any routers sending syslog to the server just yet. Alright, so now we're gonna make that window a little bit smaller, move it off screen, and I'm gonna go into GNS3. I'm gonna drag in two routers, doesn't really matter which two. And then gonna drag in the cloud. This is gonna help me connect to my Windows XP machine. If you don't know how to do that, uh, I have previous videos that will show you how. I'm going to connect up my routers. And then I'm going to configure my cloud. Right click, configure. I'm going to add the VMware network adapter VMNet1. That's going to let me talk to the hosts. There we go. Click OK. And then connect my router to Fast01 to the cloud which in turn will help me connect to the Windows XP machine. All right, going to fire it up. And then open to my console windows. It'll take a couple seconds for those to come up. Okay, so I'm going to configure router 2 first, and that's because router 2 is directly connected to my Windows XP machine. Okay, I'm going to change the host name, R2, no IP domain lookup, just for kicks. I'm going to configure a loopback, always configure a loopback first. I'm going to give it an IP address of all twos. And I'll make it a slash 32 mask. 
in Fastener 1. This is my link connecting to my Windows XP machine in the cloud. And I'm going to give it an IP address of 9991. That's going to match the gateway address of the XP machine. And no shut that sucker. And then int fast 00. This is connecting to router 1. Give it an IP address of 10, 10, 12.2 and I'll make the other side dot one and no shut that all right so that gives me basic connectivity on router two let's see if I can ping the XP machine there you go we have success now I'm going to move over to R1 And on R1, I'm going to configure the host name first. Okay, configure a loopback. All ones. And a slash 32 mask. Configure the interface going to R2. 10.10.12.1. No shut. Always remember that. Exit out, see if I can ping R1, 10, 10, 12, 2. And we have success. All right, so we've got connectivity between R1 and R2. R2 and Windows XP. What we don't have connectivity is we don't have full, uh, full network connectivity between R1 and XP. Because what we want to do is we want to send the syslog of both routers both router 1 and router 2 to the XP machine. And if we can't reach from R1 to the XP machine, then there's no use in sending logs. So I'm going to go to R1 and let's just configure, let's see, let's do OSPF. It's always a fun one. It's actually pretty easy, router OSPF1. Just do the crazy network statement that throws everything in there. Yes, we're cheating, but that's all right. Going to go over to R2, do the same thing, conf t, router OSPF1, the Hail Mary network statement, wait for the OSPF to come up, might take a couple seconds. And we're waiting, waiting, kind of slow today, any day now. Well, let's see how much my processor is running at. That's not too bad. Of course, I am running VMware in the background, so that's slowing down my system a little bit. OK, so we're up. Let's see if we have full reachability here. From R1, we're going to ping 9999. There we go. So we can ping the XP machine. All right, so final step is we have to set up the syslog commands on R1 and R2 to actually send everything to the Windows XP machine. So you can see right now, as I drag my Windows XP machine over, we still have nothing in the syslog manager section right there. So a couple commands is actually really easy. Go into conf t on router 1, logging, and when you hit question mark, you get a lot of stuff, but the first line is probably the most important, host name or IP address of the logging host. That is the syslog server. So what we can do here is logging host 9999. Another useful command you might want to do is logging source interface and source everything from your loopback address. That way it's going to make your life a lot easier when you look at the logs. All right, so that looks good. Let's go over to, actually let's stay on R1. You could notice on the syslog server, still nothing there. That's because nothing's happened in syslog. We'll, uh, let's see, we'll make an interface. How about that? Interface loopback one. 
and we'll give it a IP address of and you can see we have a message here logging host logging to host 9999 and as I drag my Windows XP machine over you can see we have some log information this came from 1111 which is the loopback address of router 1 and we have a interface saying we have interface loopback 1 chain state 2 up which is pretty cool all right let's actually whoa, let's move this over and we'll we will complete the loopback 1 IP address let's just do a crazy one uh, actually we can't do that 9999999 and give it a slash 32 mask just for kicks all right so this will log basically alerts however it will not log commands that you've typed in so if I do something like router BGP1 right, to start BGP well you can see here as I drag my Windows XP machine over that's not logged what you might want to do is do a couple commands well it's not a couple commands it's about half a dozen commands to actually start the logging of commands so whatever you type in whatever users type in is actually sent to the syslog server that way if anything blows up you have someone to blame so it's pretty easy we're going to actually uh, go through this really fast I'll have a separate video later about doing this but I'll just run through the commands really quick okay so there we go I'm gonna start EIGRP okay I typed in a bunch of commands on router 1 as we go over here to the syslog server you can see all these commands exit command the network command router EIGRP all that has been logged from router 1 so it's pretty nice so now let's go over to router 2 make sure I can set that up from router 2 logging 9999 that shoots the logs to that IP address logging source interface loopback 0 and then do our other commands to actually start logging of the commands All right, start EIGRP here. And let's see if router 2's commands have been logged. And looks like they've been logged. Look at that. So we have syslog information coming from router 1, syslog information coming from router 2. You could see how it's basically a straight uh, text file. Uh, if you get the the premium version it actually logs to a database so you could do a lot more stuff I could uh, looks like I can't order it but you can look through the stuff it's pretty cool and you can add pretty much as many routers as you want to the log um, kind of depends on how much memory and processor power is running on your logging server uh, but it's not too big of a deal because it's basically just text it's not it's not heavy duty processor intensive all right, so that was a quick and easy video of setting up logging and a syslog server on Windows XP and configuring the routers to shoot the logs over to that server. Thanks for watching.